I know art is supposed to be subjective, but an artist's face isn't, right? You're an abomination. Like, I can't wait to blow you up. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we're finally gonna take control of the pirate faction. Right, it's gonna be us, the pirates, versus every other faction in the game. And I know that doesn't sound all that fair, but considering we have guns, I feel pretty good about our chances. Now, I'm not trying to throw shade at rocks tied to sticks, okay? They've been a proven weapon for us in the past, but at the same time, I feel like history has proven that guns are quite a bit deadlier. <laughs> so guns are what we're gonna use, okay? I know I have a whole bunch of different pirates at my disposal, but right now I really just want to see how many flintlocks I can afford. Board, um, it, it just keeps going. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I knew they were cheap, but I didn't think they were this cheap. Like, that's 58 guns versus what, like 12 cavemen? <laughs> and I really doubt they've got bulletproof loincloths, so I would imagine. This is gonna be a bit of a slaughter, yeah. And then the best part is, once their guns are empty, their fists are still locked and loaded. <laughs> it's not even close. Well, unsurprisingly, the locals didn't get the message. They've sent out another small tribe, and this time around, they've got pointy rocks tied to sticks. And Steve, that's not how you handle a pointy rock on a stick. Or hey, you're supposed to have it up over your head like everyone else. You're gonna poke someone's eye out. It doesn't matter though, it won't be our eyes because we have barrel armor. I would imagine that can block a spear. Really only one way of finding out. <laughs> Hopefully that's the case. It's gonna be really hard to tell who's dead and who's suffering from major whiplash. Please don't shoot each other. Thank you. <laughs> Last thing I need is you guys having a concussion and a bullet shot in your back. Actually, there's no way they have concussions, right? They don't have brains. I don't think the spears are doing anything. No, they have absolutely no effect. Brilliant strategy. Did somebody forget to tell the farmers that this is supposed to be like a Dragon Ball Z fight? That you start off slow, not at your full power, and you work your way up to it? They just went full-blown T-posing bird god right off the bat. I mean, I don't have a god. I got a pirate queen that I can't afford. I can get bombs, though. And you guys are gonna be huddling trying to cross a bridge. Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> we might need a couple of minions to sacrifice themselves, though. Yeah. I feel pretty confident about this. Just stop the birds from getting too close to us and we'll light up that bridge. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't see the potion sellers. No, 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 don't, don't get hit with a potion cellar. You guys are gonna blow each other up. They don't seem super confused. They seem to pass out though. Oh, come on, you guys are pirates. You're supposed to be able to hold your liquor. Yo, yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum and an extra big bottle of screw you. That's a lot of burly farm women. And I'm just now realizing that as the pirate faction, we don't have any melee units. Which is really weird, right? Normally every faction has at least a couple of melee units, but we have all ranged, except for the captain and the pirate queen, which I can now finally afford. I don't know why I'm sending her out there against a bunch of units that are specifically built to beat melee units, but she'll be fine, right? She'll be fine. We'll have a couple of harpooners, hopefully hold the wheelbarrows still? That seems like a bad idea. No, no, I take it back. Don't attach yourself to that level of crazy, okay? Just hold a couple of random units still and the queen will take care of the rest. <laughs> she is super overpowered, right? She just, she just helicopters into space and blows everything up. I mean, she's gross looking, but this isn't exactly a beauty contest. <laughs> if everybody explodes, I feel pretty good about how this battle is going. She's even fighting with a sword behind her back. Just that easy. We are really all over the place today. Uh, it looks like the medieval faction has arrived with a couple of holy knights backed up by archers. I would say that's gonna pose a pretty significant challenge if it wasn't for the fact that we can just blow them up. <laughs> right, we got cannons and we've got one flintlock pistol. Sorry about that, Flint, but uh, we do need quite literal cannon 
fodder. Um, what? Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Please tell me that guy died. I think we sent him to the briny deep. This is going well. You guys just need to pick up the 710 split and everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. That cannon will heal. One of them's still alive. I think you broke that guy's legs. You better finish him off. Oh, yeah. I could get used to having cannons and tabs again. They're amazing. So the blue kingdom has three kings and no queen? Did I get that right? I, I'm not trying to judge. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a little unorthodox. And if there is one queen, then that raises a whole different level of questions. If they want a queen, I could always give them one, right? And maybe a couple of captains to follow up. Here we go, royalty versus royalty. Uh, we are gonna need some arrow absorbers and then hopefully people who can quickly take down those catapults. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I can't imagine this will get screwed up at all. <laughs> now, Captain, I really need you to just shoot the king point blank. That is your strength, right? You're dead. What, what happened to the flanking parties? They didn't do anything. They didn't get the archers. They didn't get the catapults. They didn't do squat. I really thought the two flanks would be a lock. It was the middle that I was concerned about, but apparently not. I, I do think we need blunderbuss, right? We need to absorb those initial arrows and then maybe blow up the catapults. Was the issue that they were all too close together? Did you guys get catapulted all at once? That might have been the problem. Maybe we can have another blunderbuss in the back. Something like that. Maybe, and then for the middle, I do think a pirate queen can get the job done, but she needs an army of harpooners. There we go, something like this. That way we can keep the kings tied down. D don't, just just don't, okay? Don't, don't have kinky thoughts. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, those bombs went real well. I only saw a little bit of that, but I heard all of it, and it was exactly what I wanted. Now, just keep throwing grenades at the king. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Way to go. Look at all those harpoons. <laughs> the queen is still going strong, right? Yeah, these kings don't know how to handle you, and they are getting catapulted by their own team. <laughs> That was square in the chest. That couldn't have been more perfect. I want to say that that guy is going to lose his head. Whether they win or lose, he's screwed. I think they're going to win. Crap, we were so close. The queen gave out. Well, the bomb throwers are definitely doing the Lord's work. So we need a whole bunch of them to tidy up the flanks. They did a great job. And I feel like the queen did a good job as well. We just need to back her up with a captain. You know what, that's the problem. And maybe we can afford to trim down one, uh, two bomb throwers and get a cannon in there? I don't know if a cannon can take down a king, but it's gonna be a while before anybody can get to them, so it'll get a bunch of shots off. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, bomb throwers. <laughs> now, just let the cannon sit back there and do its work. Hopefully it can actually hit. It is hitting. It's just breaking on his super ripped biceps. Okay, that went quite a bit better. I was about to say, I don't know how I feel about being strategic with pirates. It's not their usual thing, but then I realized that the Greek army is doing a bunch of behind the back pool shots and being led by a cow man. So I think we're doing just fine. Okay, and as always, you know, when in doubt, blow them up. If they're gonna have a nice tight formation, then I would imagine we can make them pay for it. Being shield to shoulder isn't a good idea against high explosives. As for the cowboy, maybe we can get a captain in the mix? Uh, ooh, I didn't realize they have snake archers. Uh, let's just get a whole bunch of snake archer fodder. You guys aren't afraid of snakes, are you? You get two guns, I'm sure you can manage to deal with snakes easily enough. Okay, those those bombs are a little close, guys. Just a little close, not quite what we were looking for, but <laughs> as long as the captain can show, um. Yeah, I think that worked. Just shot him in the back, sent him to a different country. <laughs> that gun seems really overpowered.
<laughs> I need to take control of the captain at some point. Not just because he's got birds on his head, but he seems insane. I can deal with ballista bolts. I can deal with lightning bolts. I don't know if I can deal with a dozen metal shields against my all-ranged faction. It's almost like they're prepared for me. You guys aren't supposed to be the ones coming up with strategy. Okay, I was the strategy guy. But if we're going to reverse the roles, then I'm just going to buy nothing but flintlock pistols again. How about that? How about I just spam nothing but stupid units? We got like 6,700, I think it was. That should buy me 67 flintlock pistol boys. <laughs> this is definitely a stupid idea, but it might work. Maybe? Oh, it's not working all that well. We do have a whole bunch of extra guys left around, though. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can rush him once we're done shooting. Yes, come on now, move on to Zeus. Touch his bum, you know you want to. Just clap those godly cheeks. Oh, no. No, no. Mm, yeah. Something about the open vest isn't protecting them against the sharpened telephone poles that are being fired at them. Again, they're so close together that you have to wonder if you can bomb them. That has to be the answer, and then that should be more than enough bombs. Maybe we can follow that up with, uh, a couple of captains, and, uh, then the flintlock army. Yeah, the flintlock army will follow up. How about that? Maybe you guys can actually do something for once? Oh, yeah! It's like idiot bowling. That's what I'm talking about now, Captain. Can you please just shoot him? Come on, you, you got him. You, you got him. How many? Wow, what? <gasps> I just saw his pistol do a kickflip. He had a couple of bolts stuck in him and he exploded. That almost worked, kind of. I can't use big units because the ballista will just one-shot them. So we'll ditch the captains and maybe try some blunderbusts? What if I have blunderbusts out on the sides? Would they be able to move their way in and flank a little bit? I can technically afford a lot of units. <laughs> we can have a little bit of everything all over the place and then just hope that the bombs continue to bowl over everybody in the middle. Good. See, all these guys aren't a problem. It's just Zeus and the ballista. So, oh. I don't know if this protects against a ballista bolt. It might. Oh, it doesn't matter. You guys shot him yet. Oh, it does protect. Are you serious? <laughs> that is so not fair. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, but really? A barrel? Seriously, every faction in this game is not screwing around today, and I don't get it. Instead of sending out headbutters and brawlers, they went with berserkers and Valkyries. <laughs> like, this is supposed to be slow pitch softball, not Dark Souls. How am I supposed to counter this stuff? Nothing counters a lunatic with an axe. I could try blowing them up again, but that only brings me so far. Uh, maybe a couple of cannons in the back. We definitely are gonna need somebody with a gun to shoot down the Valkyries. I don't feel good about the flintlock pistols. Maybe we'll get a couple of these guys as well. I just need to use everybody, right? Just get a little bit of everybody out there. Just spray and pray and hope for the best. Really, really don't have confidence in them though. <laughs> we just get dove on and picked apart. I really don't know what we can do against the Vikings. They're such a hearty, brawling people, and we're such wuss pusses. <gasps> we didn't even kill anything. Bomb throwers are probably not a good idea when they throw themselves at us, so maybe we should do harpooners instead. I just don't see any value in the harpooner. They don't seem to do anything. A couple of captains, and then the flintlocks will hopefully be able to take down the Valkyries. Maybe this might be the time where I need to take control of a captain. Yeah, uh, where are you, captain? Okay, I'm, I'm in it to win it. Oh, okay, okay, that's that's a lot of problems. Problem. <laughs> just, just press all the. You're dead. Oh, and the birds die too. No. <laughs> You're gonna be kidding me. Here's what I'm thinking. We put a couple of flintlocks right up at the front so that everybody dives on them. Then they've used their dive. We should be able to focus them down after that, right? 
I would imagine that they won't be able to get far, and now we could just gun them down. <laughs> Hopefully, the blunderbuss haven't been touched yet. That's a positive. I feel like we're actually getting somewhere this time. It's not perfect by any means, but I've seen a lot of blue bodies on the ice. Come on, Captain, you got this. No, no, don't get tangled up. Come on, you're fighting her fight. You, you want to shoot her out of the air. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. Maybe. Oh, this is not what I need. Okay, hold on. Assuming direct control. Ah. Crap. Crap, crap. Don't, don't. Crap. How about instead of putting a flintlock at the front and having them all dive on him, we have them dive on a pirate queen and make them regret it. And then we blow them up afterwards. <laughs> Again, I don't feel like it's a really good idea to use the bombs, but if they all hold still, then it would do a lot of damage. Maybe put a couple of blunderbusts on the side anyway. Just have something out there. Uh, flintlock pistol, sure. He was hoping that this gets something done. They jumped over the queen. That's good and bad. Okay, well, she's gonna take on both of the ho, ho, okay. Yeah, now we're getting some. We're actually killing some of the bigger units. You got this, Queen. Yes, Queen Slay. <laughs> okay, it's only 4v1. I like our odds. You haven't let me down before, Queen. I'm not going to take control of you because I feel like that's definitely a bad idea. I wouldn't know how to control that in the slightest. <laughs> Are you going, Valkyrie? No, no, you don't get to run. You're the only one left, right? I'm not losing my mind. Okay, good. I don't think we can kill you uh they have oh oh okay never mind i was gonna say if they have a broken valkyrie and it doesn't come down then we can't win but fortunately it was an idiot you see this is what i had in mind right just brawlers and ice archers and headbutters nice simple easy to murder units exactly what i need <laughs> and again if they're gonna be all tightly grouped together we gotta try blowing them up i could Probably use blunderbusts against ice archers? Could they freeze my barrel? I don't actually know. It'd be interesting to find out. That's a, that's a pretty excessive army, honestly. I feel like this should be a breeze. Uh, you guys okay? Oh, yeah, they don't even get cold if the arrow hits their armor, or maybe they do. Interesting. Oh, the bombers really didn't finish the job, but they got there anyway. <laughs> the bombs are so unpredictable. It's why I love them. I keep forgetting how many factions there actually are in this game. Like, I keep thinking we're done. I'm going to have to move on to something else. And then before you know it, I'm back in the dynasty facing off against samurai who can deflect all of my projectiles and a monkey king. <laughs> I really just don't want to make it easy. Oh, and they have ninjas in the back. I didn't see the ninjas. As you typically don't, I suppose. What could I possibly use against all of this? I'm really curious to see if a samurai can deflect a cannon shot. I doubt it. If you put the cannons up high, would they get torn apart? I think that might work. A couple of bombers... I don't know. I'll, I'll put a captain in the back and take control of him. How about that? I think we're going to need it this time. Could they deflect a scatter shot? Probably not. I don't know what's going to beat that monkey king. We'll just cross that bridge once we come to it. All right, let's go, captain. I don't think you have very good range, so we might need to get up close and personal. There we go. There we go. Sit down. Get, get the monkey king. Get the monkey. No, don't go for the illusions. We got to get the, get the real one. Yes, bombers, you're doing you're doing a great job, bombers. Keep it up. <laughs> yes, we just funneled them onto the bridge and blew them up. It was perfect. And there goes that strategy. Now we're the ones who are gonna get funneled, and we're against so many types of units that there's no way I can strategize this. Right? It's just gonna have to be pirate queen, pirate queen. Bunch of useless dummies. Actually, this might be perfect now that I think about it because these are blunderbusts. They should be mediocre against firework archers. Oh, I don't know how they're going to face off against <laughs> getting thrown around like that. But 
I might be able to take control of a pirate queen and just get in there. I don't know what the bomb button is. Just keep my fingers crossed that it'll work, I suppose. Come on. Where's the, oh, it's the, it's the middle one. It's space, right? We're just gonna space and then jump. Yeah, there we go. I'm liking this. This this is totally working. How did my fellow queen do? Yes, queen slay. <laughs> you guys all lived. Way to go. Oh yeah, this is perfect. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna jump in the hole in victory or not. This has to be the final faction, right? I don't know how I feel about facing off against horses. We've come to realize that pirates have a really, really hard time comprehending the wobbly horse. What is that? I know art is supposed to be subjective, but an artist's face isn't, right? You're an abomination. Like, I can't wait to blow you up. We know that the painters can dodge projectiles, probably because of their spider senses, but I don't think they can dodge explosions. <laughs> As for balloon archers, uh, I, I don't actually know how the blunderbuss matches up against them. I would imagine that the arrows won't hurt them, but the balloon fall might. As for the horses, I, I got nothing. Maybe that's what the harpooner is good for? Maybe you can just connect yourself to them. Again, I don't like the idea of them connecting themselves to crazy. They're just gonna get dragged around, but <laughs> maybe? I, I just need this to get sequenced properly and it didn't. They, they wasted all of their shots on the stupid painters that were gonna get blown up. You guys need to move forward and get the balloon archers. That's not forward. <laughs> They're gone, who am I kidding? Uh, you guys are so useless. I, I don't understand how such a cool unit could do nothing. <laughs> Just pull him off his horse. Come on, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> Just hanging out? Oh, you guys are the worst. Look, look at all the balloons that are totally not killing you, but just gonna delay this for a million years. Hopefully the fall kills him. We're clearly done here, right? This was a catastrophe to say the least. <laughs> I know I've said this a lot in the past, but have I said it recently? I hate the balloon archers. <laughs> They're just so freaking strong and not fun to play against. We gotta go with the pirate queen, right? I'm not even gonna control her. I feel like she does a better job controlling herself, okay? So we got almost no bombs off there before everybody got sent into space. And she did it. She actually killed the horses. Uh. This is kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They're turning you into a porcupine. Please come back down a little slowly, but it worked. It totally worked. <laughs> the Pirate Queen is so much stronger than anything else. So this is the final level and they have guns this time. For the first time ever, we're actually facing off against opposing guns, but they're musketeers and they're in the back. So I'm gonna say the likelihood of them shooting a teammate is extremely high, which is exactly what I need in my life. So we're gonna go with another Pyre Queen. She really does get the job done, but we need to back her up with something that can deal with all these fencers. Uh, they can parry and dodge and stuff like that. So shooting them is gonna be kind of important. Something like that. I don't know how the Halberds are gonna do. They're kind of freaky, they're big units, but... Oh no, they shot only my team, seriously? <laughs> Since when do you guys only shoot your own team? Queen, could you maybe get rid of these guys real quick? Cause you're gonna have to move on to those musketeers real soon. Please, please hurry, yes, yes, shoot, shoot. Help her, help your queen. That, that's not helping, and she's dead. That's not good. What if we tried that again, except for this time, I'll take control of one of these idiots and go for a bit of a walk. I'm not really all that interested in fighting the fencers. I wanna get in here and deal with you guys and then hopefully kill some of you. Nope, nope. Okay, I got one of them. That, that's better than nothing, right? I did my best. Now you guys need to take it home. It's 3v3. That has to be good enough. Good, good. Can we get the last guy, please? Thank you. <laughs> it was all me, the superstar running interference. But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And I gotta say, I'm really amazed that there isn't some kind of swashbuckling melee pirate. 
It would have made the pirate faction a whole lot smoother to use, but I still really enjoyed the pirate campaign, and I still have a whole lot more screwing around to do in the sandbox with the secret pirate units that we found, so if you guys want to see more of that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return for more tabs soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.